Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Terry. Hi, everybody else out there in the that's lurking. Um, we are going to work with napkins and pattern paper. Um, so sewing pattern paper. And but first, I need to. Um, well, we're letting people come in here, and I'm saying hi. Hi, Joyce. Welcome. I am going to take... Hi, Luna. Welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take this out using the staple remover. This is some paper that I had gotten um, in with... A magazine and I think that these pages are going to be perfect with I forgot to skip the ad <laughs> hi Kel hi Melissa hi Lioness hi Lynn hi Kat hi Kathy D hi Cheryl and hello Bonnie welcome Okay, here we go. So these, I have these pages that I am going to use in my Tea and Roses journal. They're a nice, a nice weight. I just, I had that on my desk to um, take apart. So in case I want to use those. I also, I'm going to be using some coffee dyed paper in this journal as well as in the Valentine journal I have coming up. I did pull out, so I, um, while I was waiting for the video that's going up tonight to upload, I went ahead and I cut up a napkin. All right, I ripped up a napkin. But what was hilarious is I was half three, halfway through when I realized that this napkin has another ply. <laughs> so... Um, some of them I will need to remember to take them out. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Caroline. Or Carolyn. Caroline? Caroline? Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Hi, Tina. Welcome. Okay, so all of you that won things in the last live video, I have not, I have not had a chance to um, put those in. Um, hopefully tomorrow. I have company coming for Super Bowl. And my house is like upside down. Okay, it's crazy disaster mess, and I I don't want to just I want to put it back together the way that I want to put it back together. So I'm taking, <laughs> yeah, um, it's quite the production. So there we go, and um. God bless my husband. He has been so, so, so good about it. Sweden, huh? Well, welcome from Sweden. So um, this morning while I was um, waiting for the, the thing to upload, I did go ahead and I put some pattern paper on this. It's a index um, alphabet card. And I added the napkin on top of it. And that's what made me decide. I'm like, oh my gosh, I really like that. I think we'll we'll do that and um, we'll play with the pattern paper. So I did an envelope and I just pieced this one because I that's what I did. I had another, oh here, here's a library card and I just added part of the napkin to that. No pattern paper on that one. So um, let's go ahead and we'll finish this one. Hi, Marcy. Welcome. Hi, Carolyn. Welcome. And um, let's see. I did also um, cut out a couple of ephemera pages from the Tea and Roses kit so I'd have things to use. Usually, I go do something else while the video is uploading, but today I made myself sit here and actually play, and it was very therapeutic. Oh, this side needs to be cleared off, too. 
Hi, Chris. Welcome from Brazil. So, here we go. So, I am so excited about the videos for the next two days. Um, it should, tomorrow should go up at midnight. And Friday's is a mini challenge in the challenge. And it is really fun. And they are, remember I told you that my mom had a little book about napkin folding. And so that's what I did. And it was fun and really cool. And so watch for those. Yesterday's video was um, using a bouquet of flowers. And, I mean, that was part of it, but <laughs> we used other things too. But to create um, embellishments that all went together, that looked similar. And if you like your, your journal to be cohesive, it was just a way to do that. So... There, I've covered up that, that little hole, <laughs> and I like it. Okay, so when I was playing earlier, I had no washi tape, but now I have washi tape. So I think we'll go ahead and add this. <laughs> yeah, is everybody ready for February? The February, hi Amanda. Long time no see. Oh, you haven't made one yet. Okay, well, we're looking forward to, to seeing what you do when you make one. Um, I have a set of videos that I did two years ago. Spring Blossom. Uh, journal start to done and it had all kinds of things to do and the way to do things <laughs> well the way I do things and some of those things I might do differently now so this is a post-it note thing and um, I had it on my table because I wanted to use it in the Valentine journal that I'm making and um, Chip got it so he ate half of the they're just the small ones, the page flags. He didn't like eat a whole thing, but he he put teeth marks in half of them. So I cut them off. I was like, oh, I'm still gonna use these because I like the I like the pattern. Yeah, patterns are. They are fun. I like the way that this makes this this envelope look vintage. Okay, so I, I really I like that. So I'm thinking this is going to be something that will go inside. You see, I also decorated the flap on it. And um, so I, I really I really like it. Now, I think I would really like to put some glitter because you know me and the glitter. But you know that I haven't been to the store yet and we are out of the fingernail polish that I use for glitter. So, um, okay, so we've got that. I think that that's, for right now, that's going to be good enough. I, I think it could, um, you could write on it here. And I think that that would be, be kind of cool. Oh, you know what? We didn't add a napkin. We didn't add a napkin. <laughs> and this this video is about adding napkins. Okay. Now, and I do things differently than a lot of people. So, um, one of the things I do is... Hi, Deanna. Welcome. Welcome from Alabama. Well, I'm in California. 
I'm in California. So this is going to be a shorter live. Um, but I, I did want to get here, get in here and say hello to everybody. If you guys are watching the little ticker over there, let me know when we get to 50. Let me know when we get to 50. So, so I have a question. If on my, my uh, journals that I'm going to be working on, would you like to see sunflower? Or, um, what else do I have? I have a Peter Rabbit journal. I have, well, I have sunflowers, Peter Rabbit. I have a sewing one that all <laughs> I need to finish because they're on my list. So out of those, what would you like to see? I think it's sewing because um, that one's almost done and that I could get that one done pretty pretty quick the Peter Rabbit um, is I don't even know how far done it is I need to to look but I know I started it and it was going to be a garden journal there we go so we got a little bit on this side and on this side I like that so um, I'll show you again how I <laughs> was supposed to be showing you how I did that. Okay, where did... So I have a pile. I told you all to bring... Um, do you have a Tuesday morning, Kelly? The other thing is, is I do have napkins in my shop. I don't come out here and tell you guys a whole lot, but I have napkins in my shop. And um, I'll tell you what, for, for anybody that purchases any, but, and I just sold one yesterday, so I'll include that one also. But anybody that purchases a napkin um, set, I'll go ahead and throw in one of these. That'll be up to, say, up to... 10 if you buy three it's still going to be just one napkin okay so each napkin order so that i can give them to more people um so i have three different sets of napkins and i'll see if i can find that video and i'll post the video in the scrap all about it with dear julie julie um facebook group so if you are not familiar um one of the things that I do is I have a Facebook group and that's where I am able to post a lot of things and also um, that says loving life I'm gonna put that right there because um, we are putting these inside here um, yeah so I have three sets and I think they have like 12 or 16 napkins in them there's a bird set. Well, I, there's three different sets. And they are beautiful napkins. And when, like I said, when I find the video, I'll put that up for you so that you can see what's actually in them. Um, but you can also go to the Etsy shop. It's uh, Dear Julie Julie in Etsy. And um, it, it'll show you. You can see them right there. Aren't these gorgeous, though, taken apart? Oh, my God. They're going to make beautiful pages. So we have this little flinch card. And I also do have a flinch card digital kit in the Etsy shop. And that one is really, really fun to use. It has the numbers 1 through 31. Okay, so this is how I've been doing the pattern. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. Hi, Eileen. And I think I might have missed people. Hi, Mary Helen. Hi, Tracy. 
Cindy, you have no picture today. Cindy, you have no picture. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Karen. Wow, we're getting close. Let me know when we're at 50. Um, okay, so we'll go around this card here. And then um, I'm going to come back in and go around this. I can do that because it's black. It It's not going to move because, you know, the black, the black will stay where it's supposed to. Then I go ahead and even though it's wrinkled, I love the wrinkles in the pattern paper and also tissue paper. Oh, there you are. You've got a picture now. Huh. Okay, so I call this dry decoupage. Um, I don't have the patience a lot of the time for decoupage. So, um, and if my voice is going in and out, it's because I'm looking over at the computer to see what you're all saying. And, oh, we said 50. Okay, so we'll be doing that in just a minute here. Um, okay, so I've added a piece of the pattern paper. And then we have that. We lost it. Oh, man. We had, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, we had the perfect flower for this one. Yeah, a little bit at a time, Amanda. Make sure that you like that you can, if you have all of that stuff, you can, and, and if you go back and look at what we did with junk in the month of January from things from around your house, my recommendation is that you do something like that first and make sure that this is something that you're going to like to do and is not going to end up being a craft that, um, just cost you money. So, but you can do, I mean, there's so much that you can do with, um, with junk. Okay. And, um, right now with spring coming, your, your Hallmark stores and your Hobby Lobby, and those places, they will have party napkins, and they might have things that are really pretty. Um, Tuesday morning is a great place for napkins. I have a great resource with the Ben Franklin in Ojai. Um, Cindy keeps amazing amounts of great napkins. Okay, so there, um, it's a little bit plain, so I think we'll go ahead and... And this is odd. I actually decorated the bottom. I usually decorate the top of everything because that's what you see coming out of a pocket. So I think we better give this a little something, something up at the top. So I have some of the, from the Tea, Tea and Roses digital kit from Dear Julie Julie, which is what I'm using today. I have, um, I consider these stamps. And so we'll go ahead and... Do I have? <laughs> I have the postage stamp. I'm trying to remember to use my stuff. Is anybody else out there in the place where they need to use their stuff? I need to use my stuff, including these scissors. So... Who has these kind of scissors from back in back in the day? I have them from scrapbooking is what I have them from. Okay. Oh, I didn't cut out the one I wanted. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Wrapping paper. 
a lioness. I am from Ojai. I grew up there. I grew up there. I spent a lot of time there still. I lost both of my parents last year and they lived there. So, um, so I go back quite often. Okay. So I have that. And then one other thing, I, I think everybody should have a canceled postage stamp of some kind in your, in your stash of stuff. Yep, secondhand stores are a great source for us for for things for the journal. And one of the things that I tell people is tell people what you're looking for. You know, don't be afraid to tell them, hey, I do this and I'm looking for this. Because a whole lot of my stuff is from people... Um, people give me stuff so there I've added that I've got the stamp I've got so we have one two three four five items on this collaged little tag and you could go ahead and round the corners of this if you wanted to I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the pile put that over there and put the black back. Okay, so we are up for, we were at 50. Oh, we were, we're at 50. I've got, it says 50 here. Woohoo! So, I saw several new names here that have not been here before. So what happens when we get to 50 is I take out the cards and we're going to play cards. Actually, what we're going to do is everybody is going to tell me, uh, is going to guess a number. You choose one number between one number between I saw, I saw my last name in there it's like whoa um, one number between ace and king so one number between 1 and 13 everybody that picks the right number will win and today we will we will give away what are we going to give away um Hmm. Something different. <laughs> How about, I know, we'll do the angel kit. Okay, not very many of you have that. So, and of course, I don't have it here to show you. It is available in the Etsy shop. It is, it is an angel kit. Let me see if I have any pieces of it. That's Christmas. That's Christmas. Oh, those are the. Oh, that reminds me. Don't forget to go and um, download the free printables in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie in the files section because um, they are going to go away. I want to clean that up because I'm going to start using some of those in some kits. And that was always the way that they were meant to be. Well, I'm not finding an angel to show you. And I can't get up and, and move because I have everything in the way. So, just know that it's cool. <laughs> and you'll like it. Wow. Punches and embossers. Oh, that's cool. $2 each. Okay, here we go. Everybody pick a name. Hi, River City Creations. Okay, keep, I see you guys are still picking, picking numbers. So, um, and, and picking stuff. So go ahead and I will pick out my next thing. I have, I have a time card. Okay. Okay, looks like we've stopped for a couple minutes. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like hanging out here live. It does, um, it does, it does help. And if you communicate with the videos, if you um, leave comments and things like that, that helps 
um, YouTube know that you like a particular thing and it might show up in your suggestions as well. Okay, so here we go. I will be choosing the eighth card and everyone that has that number will get put into the green book. I found the green book, you guys. Hooray! Found the green book. Um, one, 29, 20, 20. Angel kit. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's a queen. We have not seen the queen in a long time. So let's see. Manella Maxwell, congratulations. Um, I want to make sure that you are a member of the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. That's where you'll get your invitation. And um, that will take you to the page where you pick up your, your digital kit. Okay. And we have another one. Mary Helen, congratulations. Mary Helen. Congratulations. Okay, check one more time, Mary Helen, looking for a queen, queen, queen. Okay, and yes, and Joyce reminded us that if you are joining the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group, you want to make sure that you answer the questions we do the questions not to be mean but to keep people out that are not supposed to be in there they're not gonna probably be able to answer the questions i mean they're actually pretty easy but a robot can't get in okay so that is um that is that so congratulations again to lanella and mary helen's mary helen i'm not gonna all them c's i'm scared <laughs> So congratulations and enjoy. I think you could probably use some of the angel um, pictures with your Valentine stuff if you wanted to. So I have a time card. It is green on one side, which I really like. It is red on the other side, which would be great for Valentine's Day. Not so much for what I am working on here. But one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to make it into a pocket. And so... I do like to go ahead and fold this piece up, okay, and I'm just going to go ahead, fold it up. Okay, two things. The cards are going back where they're supposed to go, <laughs> okay, so the cards are where they go. The green book is on my computer, everybody. The green book is on my computer. If you're wondering why I'm telling you that, last week we lost the green book. I found it in the tea, the tea book box. The box that was holding all the things to use in a tea journal. Oh, I didn't want to do that yet. Oh, well. It's okay. Okay, so to get rid of the red, and I'm not worried that that just popped up, I'm going to go ahead and pull out another um, piece from... from a pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and start by putting it on the outside. Because this time I'm just going to do a giant block, kind of like I did on the flinch card. Sometimes I just put pieces. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and squiggle this on. Um, sometimes I'll use a paintbrush on my finger and even it out. It does, it actually looks much nicer that way. Okay, so since I have put glue all the way down to the bottom, I want to make sure that I have this all the way down to the bottom. 
and I don't want it folded over. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it down. Luna, you're in the wrong group if you're talking about your videos. Sorry that you got slammed, but we're gonna we're gonna keep it on subject here. Okay. Oh, you know we might want to put a. Uh, Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I think we'll put this one on. Oh! <laughs> well, I gave away an angel kit, so you missed out on that. Okay, so here we go. We're going around the, the thingy. Around the napkin. Sorry, I'm probably out of focus right now. I can hear my husband and his friends on the ham radio. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that I do is I go inside here when there's a picture and I kind of put my glue like like I was drawing the picture okay so if it shows up and you see the glue then um, then that's okay because and there we go welcome we're playing with napkins and we are playing with uh, patterns sewing patterns they, they work really great together to make embellishments I think bye Luna Okay, so we'll give away something else when we get to 60. 60. Okay, so there I, um, I went ahead and we've decoupaged on the red side. We've left this side. Now we could go ahead and distress this. Um, and that might be a good thing. Hi, Maria. Welcome. Isn't it beautiful? I, I think it's one of the prettiest ones I've ever, ever, ever seen. And it's the whole napkin is um is the image so so this is what you get it's gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous going to be beautiful for spring and i think it's really beautiful with this um, tea and roses journal so i did pull out well i guess i i lost it but at least I remembered I pulled it out. If I can find this cute little tag. And so let's see. I think we'll do another teapot. Okay. 
there we go. And so cutting it out to look like a stamp, it's going to be a little bit big for this. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut this all the way down to right at the top. There we go. Okay, don't anybody think. Oh, you know what? This is the one that I think I need to add. So we'll wait a minute. We'll let that soak in. This is my favorite pad. I got them at Tuesday morning. Hi, Chandra. Welcome. Okay. So let's see. So I consider um, using that. Oh, wow. Look, isn't that beautiful? Oh, Julie, you should. <laughs> so while we're at it, we should probably at least fix this one, right? Oops. I knew that. I knew I was going to do that. Might as well just do it all over the place. Because I, I'm impatient. I'm so impatient. I really distress this one. <laughs> Okay, well, at least, oh, one side. Hi, Ginger. Welcome. That's, that's the bubble underneath my desk there, my, my desk thingy. It is my, my old desk cover from back I think it's it might even be from high school there we go your containers are exploding there we go Okay, so we're going to put that up there and let it continue to soak in. We have gone ahead and at least we distressed that and we can add our little stamp. Yeah, I know, but I don't like to do it. Plus, I use a lot of white paper. And um, so I don't, I just don't. But this one I'm going to use um, coffee dyed paper in it. So probably should go ahead okay So we'll come over here. I'm going to add this here to the top. The staple. Actually two. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll make little charms for on the On the strings, I really like doing this. I'm trying, I, <laughs> use your stuff, Julie, use your stuff. Okay, I've got washi, let's use it. There we go. So there's that. And then... We've been using the yellow. So we'll do the back-to-back -back sticker here. So sticker to sticker. 
there's that and you put the other one these puffy stickers are from Michaels and um, I love using them they are inexpensive there we go so we've got our little charms hanging on there so now we're going to want to make something to go in here and this Our library card does fit but let's go ahead and make another another thing so we have I have these I have lots of these hi Ashley welcome hi Dawn welcome hi Sharon welcome so okay so let's go ahead and add some more pattern now, I use the arrows from the pattern. I use those a lot in the um, Okay, so this one. So you don't always have to go on straight. Okay, but I use the pattern What was I going to say? Oh, the arrows. I have things ready for the Valentine journal that I'm working on. And so I put arrows in there I thought that that was fun okay so here I've gone around the the hole I'll go all the way around the hole and then just put it down so again I call this dry decoupage I should be called the lazy crafter with the messy desk. <laughs> Hi, Doreen. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Audrey. Wow, look at Luann. Hello. Look at all of you that just came in. Or just said hello. <laughs> okay, so here I've just gone ahead. I really wanted that 25 on there, but I messed up. Oh, well. Okay, so then we're going to turn this over. And we're going to put it on this side too. No, we're not. Because I want there to be writing space in this journal. My prerogative, I can change my mind. Okay, something just fell on the floor. I think it was a washi tape. Washi is not safe on the floor in my house. Because... Chip thinks it's a teething ring. He's like the big hungry bear with them strawberries. He can sniff a washi tape or pit berries. You know, the berries, the decorating berries. That's his other thing that he... Um, He gets into okay so isn't that cool just even just like that and then decorated maybe with some washi tape um yeah i i think that it's amazing okay i'm just trying to get the whole there we go okay so now we're adding um some roses to this and it's going to go in that so it doesn't need a huge amount. I love this. I think this would be beautiful on a corner of a page. So we're going to put it up there so I don't keep picking it up. Come over under. So I tore up a whole entire napkin. And I like I like that. Just I like just the simplicity of that. Because it's going on a page where it's going actually gonna go in that time card. And that is pretty pretty decorated.
oh my gosh, opening the drawer and stealing it. Well, my washi tape, unless it's on my desk or on the floor, it's pretty much out of reach. The drawers are high up. Um, <laughs> opening. Well, you know what, though? Yesterday, he, I have, right now, I have a box that's St. Patrick's Day, a box that's um, Easter and Spring. 4th of July. I'm going through stuff that was my mom's and, and mine. And I'm trying to put it in in the right place so that I actually can use it. This is decorations for my house I'm talking about here. So I had um, some pink berries that, have, that are really pretty. They have like apple blossoms on them and cherry blossoms on some. There was two different different ones. Anyway, um, I look over and the dingy dog has them. And he's chewing on them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not good. Okay, so this is part of the post-it note that he ate. <laughs> Page flag, not, not post-it note. Post-it note sounds really bad, like he ate a bunch of paper. He didn't eat. He just put teeth marks in it. Just like he does the washi tape. <laughs> oh, that would mean I have to get my iron out, Audrey. <laughs> Although right now I have an entire dryer full of doilies that are not doilies, um, linens that are, is, they are going to have to be ironed. So, yeah. From my mom's house. Okay, maybe we should go ahead and keep with the, the theme here and put a stamp from the Tea and Roses digital kit. Up here in the corner. Okay, here we go. This stamp. Yeah, we found my my. Well, I shouldn't say we found it. We I knew where it was, but we went through my grandmother's hope chest and found what my mom was keeping in there. And um, that was my oldest son and myself. He was so helpful, and I he really was so grateful. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of those little hearts right there. I really like this. Um, I think we can add some of the flowered washi down here at the bottom. That will just kind of finish that off. And then for this journal, I've also been using the lace. From um, Dollar Tree. Use the so right now I have a large Valentine journal being put together and a large tea and roses. And both of them will be for sale in my Etsy shop. I'm actually I, um, when I finish them, I ha I'll have like five, five or six journals that'll all be for sale on the same day. So I will let you know when that's going to happen. Obviously, these have to get finished first. It'll be after Super Bowl because we're having company. It's kind of funny. We're having whole bunch of people that don't follow football. We all don't really watch watch it like all year. But what we're doing is we were given a whole bunch of flashlights. Our, our emergency um, team 
was given a whole bunch of flashlights and we need to go through them and see which ones work. So we are going to, <laughs> we decided to make a work party during Super Bowl. And um, so we're actually looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. But um, my house has, it's, it's at my house because I said, hey, why don't we have it at my house? Okay, so we've got those. I don't know. What do you think? I love these colors. I think that they are amazing. Oh, okay. So we have um, plenty of people. <laughs> so let's go ahead. We'll do another angel kit. So, um... Yeah, so let's go ahead. We'll give away another angel kit. And so you want to go ahead. I'll pull down the cards because those of you that you know that when you see the cards and Bonnie says go, then um, you are to pick one number and one number only. And everyone that picks the right number will receive... Um, the digital kit. The way you get your digital kit is um, in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. We will, um, I will put a link and, and, and I will invite you. So you will actually get an invitation to go to. To that um, page because it it's all in a Facebook page I use I use it that way okay so a number 1 through 13 or ace through king and we will give away a angel digital kit So um, the video that I did yesterday, I did a video using the free digital called My Favorite Things. It is a one-page digital that I gave the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie um, Facebook group. I gave it to them on my birthday. It's still in there in the file section if you want you'll you want yours you'll, you'll want to go and download it because I am going to be um, taking them out okay so do go and pick that up if that's something that you would like to have there's several in there so while you're in there you might take a look and see what else we have. How are we doing on numbers? Everyone pick a number, ace through king. I see we're still getting numbers, so I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut around this. This is the Tea and Roses journal kit. It was the gift for the people that finished their journals in May for the May Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge. And for finishing, they got, um, they got to have, we had a party, a virtual party, and they received this digital kit just for finishing. So um, each month I do a challenge, a junk journal challenge, and it has specifics that you have to do. Sometimes it's what you have to use or what you can't use. Um, sometimes it's very specific about how many of each thing you need to make and what you're allowed to use it's a lot of fun i think people that are that have joined in have had a good time hi rosie oh good you picked a number and hi crafty bibliophile welcome um yeah so each month i do that um i'm behind on the parties but 
we will be catching up. And um, yeah, so if you are in the January Just Junk Journal Challenge and you finish your journal, you are going to receive a digital um, kit, a Dear Julie Julie digital kit. Okay, so this is just one of those little treat envelope things and I didn't put any pattern paper on it because it was already dark and I'm kind of now wishing that I had put a piece so I may come back and put a piece on there because it just something it doesn't look finished so I think maybe we'll put something you know put a piece of something over here we'll do that okay find the cards find the cards find the green book okay and Bonnie says stop hi well creative angel welcome hi Charlotte welcome okay so we've got done our shuffling I'm gonna pick the eighth card one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is nine. Eight is nine. And there's a lot of you in here, so. Okay, let's go up to the top. We are at 62. Okay. Audrey, congratulations. Is I, I might have spelled that wrong. Is that right, Audrey? I might not even be close. Um, Blossom, congratulations. I need your Facebook name. I don't know it yet. <laughs> You'd think I would know it by now. Okay, I'm shuffling those because I'm not positive that I have the right... Oh, Caroline, congratulations. Um, Sheila from Creative. Nana? I'm Nanya. Nanya. Oh. Okay, so I need your real name. I think I know what it is, but I'm not positive, so I'm not going to put it out there. <laughs> okay, it's a big number. And there we go. That's 7, a 10, and a 10. Oops. Come back up. Okay, this is what I've got. Does anybody else? Hi, Samantha. Oh, bummer. Awesome. Okay, so here we go. Um... We had Audrey, Blossom, 9283, Caroline, and Creative Nana, a.k.a. Sheila. Okay, so I'm looking for your guys' actual name. All right, I got you. I did get you right. Woohoo! And I was right. I knew I was right, but I wasn't positive. Okay, still, I'm looking for Blossom. Do we have a name for Blossom? Bonnie, I saw you ask Blossom earlier. Did she ever answer you? There you are. I got you. I got you. I should know that by now. Lori Ann with two N's and Star with two R's. All right, so we got everybody. 
congratulations to the winners. You will be um, invited very soon. Joyce is having ice cream. Huh. We'll have ice cream later. Me and the me and the Tom will have ice cream later. Okay, let's make sure that we put these away correctly. I'll shuffle them a little bit before we put them away. Okay. Okay. So, green book on the computer, and we were gonna we were gonna fix this a little bit. Let's see. We have. We have this. Yeah, I might have just gone in and ripped up a, a card so I could put something under it. I might have done that. Okay. course I would have rather had the napkin on top of the pattern but at least we'll have some other interest on here So that'll, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, so, oops, wrong thing. I want this, this here. Okay. We'll do anything is possible. I like things that have the text separated like this, like out of a book or something. Okay, so that gives us one of these little, these little things. Now we'll uh, ticket fit in there. You know what? We have some items from the virtual party from the May Mayhem. And I think there was a tag. There was, right here. There's a tag. Okay, so that was a tag we made in the party. I really like it, even though there's no... I want something up here. So, oh yeah. I'm getting the washi tape. Oh, I thought it was the flowered one. I think I want the flowered. If I don't find it, then we'll... Oh well. Well, my thing is stopped at 55 people. So... 
If we get to 70, I won't know it. So you'll need to tell me if we get to 70. Okay, so again, this um, this kit, I just, I wanted some interest up here because when it's out of the pocket, you're not going to see. And then I put this down here. And look at that. I did um, the stress in the, in the party. So our next party is going to be for the June just junk journal challenge and it will be in two weeks um two weeks from today so uh, i don't remember what day that was i'm sorry oh i do have a calendar i have i have the cute little calendar so today is what is today the 29th January. Don't count January, Joy. You gotta go to February. One, two. So February twelfth will be our um, party date. We'll write that in the little green book. Hi Candy, welcome. So June party. February twelfth. Three o'clock. So Wednesday, February twelfth at three o'clock. If you finished your June journal, jour June journal, you will get an invitation for this party. And um, so, and how do I know if you finished your journal? There are places for you to. Well, each challenge has its own group. And within that group, there are posts. They're usually either black or like a dark blue um, post. And you are to post your video of your finished journal if you made a video. And the, the, um, Oh boy. So anyway, you post your video or your photo album of your finished journal. And that's how we, um, how I find it. And then I have the backup that you post a picture of your cover when your journal's finished. And that helps me find it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave these ones on and just cut them shorter. So we have this little guy. And let's see, what all did we? What all did we get here? We got this one done with the tag, which the tag was from our ephemera that we made at the party. We got this one done, and it's supposed to have a tag in here somewhere. Okay, so, and it's got the little charmies. And it's a, if you don't make a uh, video, then you go ahead and you post your pictures in the photo, in the photo albums. So, and you title the photo album with your name is how you, um, how you post it. So you go into albums. So uh, in the group, there's up at the top, there's all the different things and there's photos and then go to albums and then create a new album, create an album with your name and put your pictures in there. Okay. So then we made this, this envelope. I love this. I think that, I think, I think this is beautiful. The simplicity of it is, is beautiful. And that will be able to go into a, um, into a large pocket, which is one of the places that I have a hard time having things for it. So I made this for this, but I'm thinking that it almost might be better to put um, one of the larger, just, uh, yeah, 
because this is so busy it might be a good place or even for a project life card because I am using project life cards in this I can cut this down this one might be So that is how we we keep track. Then I um, I do an invitation list, and then every and it'll be in the group, and everybody can look at it and say, oh, um, <laughs> you guys, you have to post by the time I wake up the next day. So by the time I wake up on the first, that is how we've done it since the beginning. Because, um, you know, I'm not in the very last time zone. So, and I don't want to. <laughs> and I'm not a very good policeman either. <laughs> what did I miss? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jules. Okay, so this is what we got made so far. And we've got this along with these embellishments. So far, that's what we have. And then I made embellishments today that will be on tonight's video that are awesome. So do check that out. That is going to be the... Um, Oh my gosh, that turned out so cool. The where's the oh there it is. It's like where'd that go? Um the napkin folding embellishments turned out so cool. So I have this. I am really liking these cards a lot. I really think they're cool. And um, they'll go into a large pocket, which is awesome. I have, I have this postcard. Okay, so let's go ahead. We want, we want... Okay, so Project Life is a scrapbooking technique where you use pocket pages um, to, to document, to, to do your scrapbooking. And Becky Higgins came out with this system that is amazing. Um, it's, it can be very, very quick. Or it can take you a long time like it does me because I still have to do instead of doing one scrapbook layout I do one for each little pocket um, but it's like like baseball trading card pockets but very very nice quality and um, these cards fit in them you just so you put you cut your picture and put your picture into the pocket you'll have you can have big pockets so that you just take your picture and put it in there and then you can write about the picture or the day on these journaling cards. And so you'll see them. They're showing up now in thrift stores like crazy. I have seen them, um, yeah, like crazy. And you, you don't see them very much in the stores right now, I don't think. I haven't seen. I've seen the smaller kits of it. Um, I have hundreds and hundreds of the cards because that's how I scrapbooked um, for a for a few years. I and I love it because I scrapbook the the everyday kind of stuff, and I am so grateful um, that I I did that. I 
I have pictures and I know right where they are for those few years and I can take the picture out very easily it's not like a regular scrapbook where it's you know adhered onto another paper it's just in these pockets I I think as a young mother they would have been it would I I would have been caught up my I think and the pictures are still accessible to go and you know grab those pictures that you need for um, for the yearbook when they're a senior and stuff like that so okay so there we've covered this one and um, I think we want to use some, some lace because we haven't just because we have Okay, super sticker or super chat is there's different monetary denominations and you can choose to send one of those and it costs you, you, you have to have an account with Google, I believe, to do it. But then um, they, send, they send money to the person that you're, like if, if you're in my video and you decide to send a super chat, then um, YouTube gets part of the money and I get part of the money. Um, so if you are watching a YouTuber and you really like what they're doing and they gave you content that you would be happy to pay for, that's a way that you can do it. Um, so you'll see it'll come up with a bright color around the outside of it. If you do a super sticker, the, the sticker... Um, is like a it's a little I've seen us I've had a super fan I've had my number one fan twice and um, so it's kind of it's pretty cool and an, a nice way that that YouTube has put together so that um, you know that you can um, what's the word <laughs> what's the word reward the people that you're watching another way so or in my case you can go to the etsy shop and purchase a digital kit and i get almost all of that money etsy gets part of it um but it also i i any any interaction that you do with a youtuber on their, like on their regular videos and stuff, it's going to put you so that, that you'll see what they're doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like, if I watch a certain YouTuber, then all of a sudden, you, I, they're always in my feed. If I, especially if I comment and I like. Okay, so I'm going to make this one pretty simple for right now because I don't know where it needs to go but I wanted to add some lace because that might come out at the end you're welcome Kel thank you for asking um Marcy I found it at one of them a few day a uh, couple weeks ago and they had a whole box now whether they just happened to find a box somewhere because it is, it was that um, the the one place that seems to have a hard time keeping their their shelves stocked. They're always like two weeks behind everybody else. They're also the one that only has one cash cash cashier. No matter how long the line is, now I'm embarrassed to even shop there because you know I could almost use two carts when I shop it. Dollar Tree and um, yeah and then I got the person behind me that came went to get milk and they won't call up a, another checker <laughs> oh my gosh ginger that happens all the time all the time start out with one idea and end up totally going another direction I'm 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then um, I just heard my husband. So it is going to be time. So does anybody have any questions? Go ahead and put them in the comments. And um, make sure that if you want something today, that you do go and that you are a member of the Scrap All About It with dear Julie Julie. Oh my gosh, that the one like I used for the cover, Joyce. Like I used for the cover of the Mermaid Journal. That was so cool. Bye, Terry. Have a good evening. You are so welcome. Um, Lioness, um, yes, actually you can use... Oh, that was in a mini challenge. Now, if, if you copy it and it doesn't turn out right, you can... <laughs> um, you'll be able to use use it in February. Oop, did I just give you a hint? I don't usually give hints. I gave hints last month, but that was because it was for junk. You know what I think would be really cool here is the bottom of a guest check, but I don't have a coffee dyed one, so I'm not going to. I would need to cover it. And um, so, well, I, I think, you know, leaving this one a little bit plain is not a bad idea. You don't have to over decorate every little thing. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I've actually had journals lately that have blank pages. Okay, I'll go put this. There we go. Okay, so what did we make? We got one of these um, cards. I think these are cool. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna probably cry when I'm done with these and out of those because they are cool. Um, okay, those were from. Those were from the party. Uh, we have this tag. Again, pretty simple. I, I really like the little heart on it. I might need to put a little heart on that. Um, we have our guest check with our trimmed down Project Life card. So we'll be able to write on that side. Have a little space for writing here. We're putting this in front. And then we have... Um, you can write on there also. You can stick some little thing up underneath your your little tag also. So. Then we have the envelope. I think this is my favorite thing that I made today. I really like this envelope. Um, I like the simplicity of it. Now that it's dry, I can see that it has a couple places. And then we made one of these little bags. And this was from that party that we made one of these little bags. This will be able to go in. It can be a tuck spot. Probably that's what I'll do is put it on the edge of a page as a tuck spot. And I really like that. So then we have one of the, um, this is from uh, index card file. And I use the R for roses. I did not do the T because the T is for Tom. And I'm going to do use it for something there. We have a flinch card underneath here. And then one of the stamp um, from the digital. And then I use the canceled stamp right there. Um, canceled stamp stamp. <laughs> and some of the napkin and the washi tape. And here we have my distressing. <laughs> oh, 
library card. I distressed. Okay, so I don't think that's too bad for an hour. Um, they, of course, this one already had its stuff on it. And, um, but there you go. I, I Like I said, I think the envelope is my favorite. And the flinch card, I really like, um, I like the flinch card too. So, what was your favorite? And if you think about it, you can come back and comment on the, um, comment on the video. And so, thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Congratulations to our winners today. Um, watch for the video tonight. And, yeah, find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go watch another video because YouTube likes that. And it, it it's good for my channel. And have an amazing day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.